Just before you guys start watching this video, just be aware that this is a part 2 of the last video I made, called Exposed at Camp. Link for part 1 will be in the description below. So watch that first, unless you're an absolute maverick, then go ahead and carry on watching. Be my guest. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, I mean Tank Bank. I was stuck at camp for three long days, eating nothing but 100% pork in a tin. Me and my friend snuck our Game Boys in, and beknownst to us, a fellow camper who was totally not cool found out our little secret and decided to snitch on us. This meant that our Game Boys were confiscated. The next morning, the same kid that snitched on us had lost his teddy bear. Tank Bank and friends just managed to find that bear. And what did those boys do next? So, we're all caught up, we're all on the same page now? Awesome. After finding the teddy bear, my friend came up to me and suggested the best plan ever. Do you want to have a guess as to what that was? Blackmail. It was blackmail. Our best course of action was to bring it back to camp and hide it. Our camp had already been searched that morning when we were first accused of stealing that teddy bear, so it was a perfect place to hide it. We had the package secured, we had our game plan in motion, now all we needed to do was blow some smoke. Me and my friend went down all mobster style on this guy. So just a little bit of a pre-warning, the conversation didn't obviously go like this, but it was pretty close. So me and my friend heard you're looking for a little bear, fuzzy, brown, buttons for eyes. Let's just say he's in safe hands at the minute. Kid, we're gonna cut you a deal. You manage to get those Game Boys back to us before sundown. And maybe you get to see your little friend again. If you don't, well, maybe he'd prefer to go swimming with the fishes instead. Or I'm pretty sure the conversation went something like that. Anyway, we basically had our eyes on this kid the whole day. As a camp, we were doing some sort of activity. I don't quite remember what it was. Canoeing? Yeah, canoeing. All I can remember from that day is that we were watching this kid like a hawk. We knew he had every opportunity to go and get those Game Boys back for us. So we just had to keep putting the pressure on until he caved. I don't think we made it a pleasant experience for him. When that didn't work, we even started being a little bit more direct with him. Hey, how's it going? Look up there, look at that giant fireball in the sky. It's uh, it's getting pretty close to the horizon. No, just thought I'd mention it. Not only were we putting the pressure on him, we were also staring at that sun, counting down the minutes until that sun dipped over that horizon. Now, me and my friend thought this was going great. The one thing we hadn't accounted on, however, was the fact that we may have miscommunicated what we actually planned. You see, when we first came up with the plan, I wanted to put the pressure on him as a bluff. I had no real intention of actually doing anything to this teddy bear. My friend, however, took things a little bit more literally. And that's how, after sundown, we came to this situation. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I didn't think we were actually going to do it. It has to be done. A promise is a promise. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Okay, how about you just give me the bear and we'll think of some- We both made a pact. This bear has to die. Uh, oh, you're, you're really, really serious about this, aren't you? It has to be done! But then, it happened. What did you do? It wasn't meant to end like this. I don't know. I have no idea what just came over me. No! Again, I don't think it was quite as dramatic when it actually happened. But I will tell you one thing that did happen. Our camp leader saw the entire thing. Oh, I think we've messed up pretty badly this time. We were taken to a separate part of the camp where all the leaders were actually camping instead. And when we arrived, we noticed a few things that were a little bit different. One of which being that they all had actual tents. And second of all, they were all eating pizza. What? Why don't we get pizza? Making us eat pork from a tin, and they just decided to order pizza instead. We already weren't happy about the situation, and then we see that. So the camp leader sat us down on a log. He sat on a stump in front of us, and basically said that he'd had enough of us. All right, you two, you've both been a thorn in my ass the entire weekend. I'm calling your parents to come pick you both up. As soon as those words left his mouth, I could hear the heavens open up. 
Our prayers had been answered. We were going to escape. Oh, what I wouldn't give for just a normal bed. The problem was, right at this time, the camp leader realised that too. He could see, as soon as he said that, our faces lit up. Now, he knew that we didn't want to be there. So, to punish us, instead of sending us home, he decided to say the following. Oh, you boys want to go home? <laughs> well, you're not going home. You're staying at camp forever. Or at least until the end of the weekend. <laughs> Oh no, you guys. It's another cliffhanger. I'm really sorry to do this to you. But I promise from the bottom of my heart that the next part will be the last one. It's a three part to this one, ladies and gentlemen. And to make sure you guys can see the finale as soon as possible, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also have the notifications on so you can be told as soon as the third and last part is up. What do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know down below in the comments as to what you think the finale is going to be. And I'll be back with that last part very soon. Fantastic.